Daddy, we thank you. Our Lord and our God, we bless you. Thank you so much. We celebrate your awesomeness. We give you thanks. <laughs> awesome God. How great the word. You are God. My day are your miracles. We're standing on oh, your holy name. King of kings and Lord of all. Worthy are you, Lord, O oh, creation, call you God. Worthy is your name. We bow down and worship you. Awesome God, how great the world. You are God, mighty are your miracles. We're standing on, on your holy name, King of kings. Our Lord of all. Daddy, we thank you. Our Father, we bless you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your mercy. Father, we thank you. Great is your mercy to us, us Lord. Great is your mercy to us, me. Great is your mercy to us, Lord, day after day, day after day. Great is your mercy to us, us, Lord. Great is your mercy to us, us. Great is your mercy to us, me, Lord, day after day. We are here to celebrate the mercy of God over ourselves as individuals, over our nation, Nigeria, and the nations of the world. We bless him, we magnify him, we give him all praise. We say thank you, Jesus, over and over again, thank you. Last week was Nigeria Armed Forces Day, and we came to celebrate the men and women that had put their lives down. Acknowledging the fact that whenever they signed their letter of appointment, they were signing their blood. They were saying that they were willing, wishing, and not wishing, but that they were willing to die if need be for their nation. It is a sacrifice on parallel. We celebrate them and we continually give God the praise for their lives. Asking for continued preservation for those that are serving. Asking that the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Asking that God gives us the grace to continue to pray and intercede for those that are currently serving in the name of Jesus. Amen. While they are at their duty post, by the special grace of God, we are here to bring us a gentle reminder on our own civic duties and responsibilities to our nation. The Bible has a lot of verses on our civic duties to our nation. If you pick your phone and you type their civic duties, responsibilities, verses, you see a lot of verses will come up for you as to what God demands and expects from you as an individual. And so this afternoon, I'll give you a reading assignment. We'll be reading selectively. But Romans chapter number 13 has there a special chapter 
in honor of God, by God himself, telling us our duties to our nation. It starts by saying in Romans 31, I read, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. It goes on to say, acknowledging the role of the leaders, I give you the reading assignment. Verse 6 of Romans chapter number 13 says, For this cause, it says we should pay tribute. We should pay our duties. 7 says we should pay tribute. We should pay customs. From verse 8, it begins to talk again of our civic duty to our nation, to one another. What is a civic duty? Welcome to Church on the Air, Band of Love Ministries International, my voice and your voice. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasia, Band of Love Ministries International. It is a great pleasure for me to anchor this very, 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 very important segment of Church on the Air, Jordan 93.9 FM, my voice and your voice the voice of the people, and the very, very special voice of God. It is our duty to remind you, a gentle reminder of your civic duty to our nation, Nigeria, and the nations of the world. Wherever you are at, we bring you this message to say that you have a duty, a duty, a responsibility. Just as our armed forces have, you also have a duty to our nation. A civic duty is a set of responsibilities. A set of responsibilities that you and I do to ensure good governance, to ensure a conducive atmosphere for living, a better environment. That, of course, includes voting, protesting, volunteering, running for office, among so many others. As individuals, we have all these duties and all these responsibilities. And so we bring you this gentle reminder to say that our nation is at a crossroad and our nation is depending on you and I to perform that duty. February, we begin to talk about love. Love will be in the air. It is already on. And we are saying here that God enjoins us to love one another. If there's anything Nigeria needs now, it is love. As the nation is now looking at sentiments, slogans, campaigns, it's like we are going on. <laughs> we are going on partisan politics, religious, ethnic, and a lot of um, reasons we may want to vote that are not actually what ought to be. So we are saying here, the first thing, according to God here, is that we should owe no man anything but to love one another. Romans chapter number 13, 8, it says, when we love, we fulfill the law. That means the north, the south, the east, and the west, we are to love one another as brothers. I have often told you that growing up, my mom and dad, even though we, we were in our own house, and most of the houses on our streets were private, we lived like face me and face you. That means we had one another's interests at heart. When my father is coming, of oh, blessed me, Murray Clark, Simon Shannock, my mentor, the streets we first gathered, the whole neighborhood children we first gathered, and he will share what he brings. We we'll first give them their own before he'll come into us. And on that street, our half brothers and us and all, we were one. We did the festive days, festivals together. We observed their own, they observed our own. What does that mean? We wish them well, we celebrated with them, they celebrated with us, weddings and all. But as I speak, that family house in Jaws is a no go area and it is burnt. It ought not to be. And this is the scenario the going all over, but we are saying no. While government is trying to ensure security and safety, we are saying here that 
God is saying that we ourselves, when we point one finger like this at government, for it's on us. We must also love ourselves. We must take care, take pains. Somebody once moved into a house and that same week he packed out. What happened? Because he was fighting with his wife. And all through the night, till daybreak, nobody came. One person did not come to say, ah, what happened? How? Why? Stop. Don't do this. Are we encouraging fighting? No. But we are saying that there are times when them pass with high and all that. We ought to pay attention. We want to take heed. We ought to watch out for one another. Not too long ago, they showed a clip of someone who died. I think over a year ago, he had died. Nobody knew. They said that man used to come. And when he come, he come weekends. And it was when snakes were coming out from the compound. The compound was overgrown with grass. That they now said, okay, please, so they paid some people in the neighborhood to go and clear the compound on his behalf for their own sake. For the sake of their own uh, welfare. Only for the people to clear and then get into the window, they peeped. They saw a skeleton on the bed. There was no care. There was no attention. Nobody there to say what happened. Even speaking, I have a personal experience like that. As a young girl, I lived in a flat of 12, 12 flats. And one of the flats, the lady there died for almost two weeks. Nobody knew. It was after her body, her body had rotten all until Joan. And it was, you have to climb her door to assess the other four flats. Um, on one of the last four flats. So when the smell coming out from her house was too much, that they now decided to do something. Three good weeks. Three good weeks. The body had rotten. The police couldn't pack it. They had to use blankets. What are we trying to say? Love is very, 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 very important. God is saying, let's love one another. If we love one another, all the killing we are hearing now, all the bandit, banditry, kidnapping, um, ritual killing, will not be hearing it. So God is saying here, it's a gentle reminder that we should go back. Verse 9, he said, if we love, the issue of committing adultery will not come. Killing will not come. This Bible I'm reading, you know, um, Romans 12, 9. He said, false witness. He said, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not be a false witness. Thou shalt not covet. So many commandments. He said, there will be no need for all of this because you love your neighbor as yourself. So we are saying here that God himself speaking to us in Romans 13, 13, 10. He said, love walketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. He said, it walketh no ill. So we are here to say that let us not walk ill towards one another anymore. Let us not do hate speech. Let us not uh, burn properties. Let's not make environments unconducive for foreigners. No. For ourselves, no. This call is coming because the Bible says in Romans 13, 11, and that knowing the time that it is high time to awake out of sleep. We are to awake out of sleep. We want to zero now on the elections. The elections are around the corner. And the Lord is saying to us, let's wake up. Let's wake up. Let's stop sleeping. Let's wake up. Why? Because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. Our past successive governments have tried, even the present government, Mr. President, have said he has done his best. And we celebrate God on his behalf for how God has helped him and help all of them, that they are rounding up their eight years. We came this year to say that the best is yet to come, that it can still get better, better and better and better. While they have tried and they have built and consolidated on past governments, we are saying that it can still be better. And the Lord is saying here that it is time to wake up. You must wake up. I must wake up and do our civic duties to ensure that our salvation is not far, but it is now nearer than we think. We are counting days to the election. 
but it is disheartening to hear of INEC offices being burnt, a campaign trail being a lot of bad bad things. We are not here to promote the bad, but the good. We are saying that all those negatives, we must stop them. We must discontinue, discontinue them. You and I should look forward to better days. And when you sabotage the activities of government, for example now, on the news, there's over 50 iron quarters um, uh, pulling boots bombed. If it continues, it means that in those areas, there will be no election. And if there's no election, it means that the election will be inconclusive. And if the election is inconclusive, the, your guess is my guess. We don't know what will happen. So we are saying here that let us not go that way. Last week, when we talked about the armed forces, I made a note, but the note was not, it's not here now, on the effects of war. If we do not stop the bad we are doing, that is where we are doing bad, and help to consolidate government gains and ensure that the elections come and go properly, then we are saying that we are asking for anarchy, we are asking for war, we are asking for strife. And there's nowhere, anywhere in the world that war has ever paid anybody. If you doubt it, just punch Ukraine. You have an Android phone, just go to Ukraine, see the pictures, how scattered and battered everything everywhere is. And they say, when you throw stone, be careful, <laughs> because we all live in glass houses. You don't know where that your stone is going to go. So when you truncate government efforts at free and fair election, you are asking for anarchy, and you don't know where that's your anarchy you are asking for will come, but that is not our portion in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So we are here to address these issues, to say that the Bible is asking us that now is the time, this is the time for us to promote unity, to promote quality, to do away with hate, priest, hate speech, to work with government to ensure that everything goes well. All this killing and all this disruption of uh, electioneering campaigns, it's not necessary. We all can't be on the same political party and the same political affiliate, no? So what is the point? You do your own, I do my own. And that's why on that day, they make it private. There is a police unit screened off where only you will enter. It is now between you and your God and your hand. You put your hand where you want it to go and your vote will speak for you. But scattering campaign elections, killing people, destroying pro property, destroying and it does not it's add not value. It's, it's only pain. causing further pain and making the salvation, our for. salvation, further away. So we are saying no. We must allow the voting to go on because it is important for our democracy. When we vote, voting, what is voting? Voting is an opportunity given to you and I to elect the officers, whether individuals or as a group that we want to rule us. Everybody can be Mr. President. Everybody can be Mr. Senate President in the Senate or Legislative House, no? So we need a people, they are a representation. And when we go to vote, that is when we give them permission to say go and represent us. So when you truncate the process, you do not do well. You hamper your own well-being and my own well-being. And the better life that we seek for, we've said it is going to be better and better may not come. So the Bible is saying here is that know that we should wake out of our sleep and slumber. Know that our salvation is now nearer than when we first believed. So electioneering is on to go and vote on election date. A former group, that means we have different political parties. The winning one, we now form the major group. Individuals, multiple individuals to stand for us in our various, various field of endeavor. So we are to vote leaders. And we are here to say to you that the Americans from where we are borrowing our democracy, some of it says here, Abraham Lincoln one of the most foremost, highly celebrated leader of America said that government is very, very important. Those of us that think that we are not part of government, we tell lie. Without us, there will be no government. Without us, there will be nobody to rule. 
So you are very, very important. You are not insignificant at all, at all, at all. It's just that, like I said, we all can't be in government. So we are saying here that, just as Abraham Lincoln said, he said, the importance of government cannot be overemphasized. And he said, government is off of the people, for the people, and by the people. Government is of the people. It belongs to us, not to them. So when we want to vote, we must know who we are voting for. We must not vote on party line, religious ground, this ground. No, 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 no. God can use anybody for us. But we are saying here that we must be careful to know why we are voting. The essence is the government to be for us. A better government, a good government. We are voting for good governance. We are voting, voting for good infrastructure, good rules, security. We are voting for education. We are voting all around for your good and for my good. It's of the people, for the people, and by the people. When you know that, you not do all the bad, bad things in some places that we are hearing. If you are part of those, please desist from it. Desist from it. Don't do that. Government is spending money, a lot of money, to for INEC buildings, voting this and that. All that we need, we should support them and not destroy them. So we must not take our duties for granted. When you disrupt meetings, when you, you, you do all the bad things that do not make for good governance, that, does, that will not all go well for the voting exercise, you do not do well. Let's desist from it. So people should make sure that government is reflected. Our voting should not be, like I've been saying, on religious, ethnic, no, 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 on tribal, no. But it must reflect the desires for good governance. So there are guidelines, there are rules, and we should know that we have a very, very big role to play. Now, I'll not be able to read all of the verses. We've said to you that our classes are teaching classes. But Deuteronomy 17, 16 says here that rulers are multiply. We want to give you guidelines now on who to vote for, who not to vote for. Watch them. Watch those all that have come out. Watch how they have represented. Watch the, the senators, the legislators, all that have represented before. Did they multiply their horses? Did they multiply their wealth to the detriment of the masses? The Tadonomy 17, 16 is a question. Second Samuel 23, 3. Second Samuel 23, 3 says, They are to rule righteously. Those you want to vote for, the candidate you want to vote for. By God's grace, all of them have held one office or the other before. Check their antecedents. Check how they fared. Did they uphold the welfare of all religions or were they participants? Did they go for infrastructure? Did they go for develop, developmental building of their environment, of the various societies they represented, or were they self-centered? That is 2 Samuel 23.3. Second Chronicles 19.6 says, consider, consider they are going in and they are coming out. Was it representative of good governance? Psalm 2, 10 and 11. Psalm 2, 10 and 11 are also verses you should look for. Proverbs 29.4. Proverbs 20, 29.4 says, kings, that is rulers, those who have ruled before that now want to rule you. It says that they are to stand by justice. Did they stand by justice? Then Proverbs 29.14 says, they are to judge their people with truth. Were they truthful? Did they do their, did they, did, did they do their best to serve Nigeria? Our heroes have given their lives, some of them, and some of their lives are on, on, online for us. It says, the, he, the labors of our heroes past shall never be in vain. It will not be in vain if you and I serve with heart and might. So there is a 
clear, clear wrong call for you and I to join government in our duties as we celebrate the armed forces we are bringing to you our own civic duties. We are bringing a gentle reminder to say that we ought also to rise up and do our duty and defend our nation. I will just give you a quick um, rundown of some things to look out for. We are not here campaigning for any government, no. We are watchmen. And as watchmen, we stand in the gap to keep praying for the best candidates to win. For him whom God have ordained to win. We stand as watchdogs, devoid of any partisan politics. We are independents. We stand for what God stands for. We are here to educate you and to keep praying for our nation. To say that God... Thy will be done. Thy will alone be done. Oh, teach us from our hearts to say, Thy will be done. In our nation, Nigeria, and the nations of the world, thy will be done. Thy will alone be done. Oh, teach us from our heart to say, thy will be done. So we are here with a prayer like us. To say that God's will and agenda alone will prevail over our nation, Nigeria, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We are saying that no demonic agenda will prevail over our nation, Nigeria, and the nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We declare and decree that God's thoughts for us are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring us to an expected end. As he has said here that our salvation is nearer than when we think. Whatever happens, Proverbs Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for good for those who believe. And so we say that whatever happens is for the good of nation. Head or tail, Nigeria wins in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. We are saying that our God will ensure that the best candidates win in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Because Psalm 75 verse 6 and 7 says that promotion does not come from the north, the south, the east, or the west. But it is God that puts Man, there, that is how it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus. I need to stop here because time is fast going. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, Genova Siaban of Love Ministries International. Church on the air is what you are listening to. The studio lines are open, please. 070 50 86 Three nine three nine. Another studio line to call is zero nine zero one eight four two five five one seven zero nine zero one eight four two five five one seven. It's the studio line to call. Our lines are open. Hello. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday to you. Fine. Thank you. Who? Ah. <laughs> Our daddy. Your voice every day. Don't they change? They change. What do they chop now? <laughs> Oh. It is well, it is well, sir. Yes, 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 sir. And the God is going to give us a good leader. Amen. I believe that we must make a we must make right now. 
Yes, sir. If now we can put the next night as a Nigeria. Yes, sir. Yes, because all power belongs to God. Yes, sir. And it's about being without God. Yes, sir. We will do our best. Yes, sir. God will finish it. Amen. I pray that uh, what we are passing through this time around will be the end of the suffering of Nigeria. Amen. You can never see this time of the Amen. You can never see this time of the Amen. So all these things will be something we will forget. Amen. Amen. If we forget 2000, if we forget 1993, 1995, I believe we will still forget this uh, this good that we are. Yes, sir. God will give us a good, a good journey. Amen. Amen. A very good morning. Amen. Very good morning. Amen. Our day we are going to meet will be fresh. Amen. Our day will be fresh. Amen. We will be Amen. And everybody in the world will rejoice. Amen. But what is there that we Nigeria? Let's leave whether you are Igbo, whether yes. you are Yoruba, yes, sir. whether you are Hausa. Yes, sir. That is the problem we are facing today. It is over, so, sir. Let's forget where you are coming from. Yes, sir. If people who hear my voice, please, they are brothers. Anywhere you are, forget where we are coming from. Let's do something right. Amen. To our own favor. Amen. It's not the favor of my men. It's not the favor of where I'm coming from. May they have the favor of Nigeria. Amen. May they have the favor of Nigeria. Amen. May they have the very bright Nigeria. Amen. When Nigeria will enjoy at least 70. Amen. When Nigeria will enjoy 1870. Amen. We need that kind of again. Amen. I pray that Almighty God, who delivered the Israelites in the house of Egypt, will deliver Nigeria from the Jesus of our, the Jesus of today. Amen. We must get away from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That is where we are. Amen. Father, thank you. Amen. Continue the journey. Amen. I'm not the one who sent you the journey. God sent you the journey. Amen. He will give you more strength. Amen. God will give you more strength. Amen. He will feed you with holy spirit. Amen. With all your needs, God will provide you. Amen. Amen. All your needs, God will provide you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, man. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was our daddy, Oji, calling us with a lot of prayers for Nigeria, supporting all that we have said, that we should please not vote on, on sentimental lines. Hello, good afternoon. Pastor. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon, sir. Afternoon, sir. <laughs> let, me, let me follow up with you. Happy New Year in Nigeria. Same to you. Same to you. Pastor Magdali, Happy New Year. <laughs> My name is Shola. Oh, Mr. Shola, happy to hear from you. How are you, you ma'am? Fine, happy. sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Happy to hear from uh, you. Go and connect to what the guys you are making, ma'am. Amen. You have spoken very well, beautifully well. Actually, I was somewhere running down to come and listen to the ministry channel. Yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> and I actually, I actually enjoy your ministry channel. So God be the glory. You see, uh, the subject matter that you will give us this afternoon yes, is very interesting. And I know one thing very well. All of us will know that it's God that is his leader. Yes, sir. And it's still spiritual. That issue is still spiritual. Yes, sir. But don't know. God has spoken in the Bible. He said, the Bible said, God has spoken once. Twice yes, I have heard this. That power belongs to God. Yes, sir. And to him belong mercy. Yes, sir. He will give to everyone according to his work. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, we're only fulfilling the intention of God on half here. Yes, sir. Through our voting. Yes, sir. And our prayer is that God will give us the right leader. Amen. Amen. God will give us the right leader that will lead us perfectly. Amen. As we are entering another, another, another path. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, uh, let me let me quickly let me quickly uh, put one thing in it. You see, in in the Christian dom, our religious leaders they are not helping matters. Are you are you hearing? Yes, sir. We are listening, sir. Yeah, they are not helping matters. You don't come out like you are saying now that everybody should go and put for each or candidate. Our leader in the church, you don't come out to tell us that. 
if you don't vote for this particular person, so so thing will happen. In fact, it's not done anywhere. It's not done. And the church you are saying, we have different people from different people with different candidates. Yes, sir. The best thing is that they should pray God to give us the right to leader. Yes, sir. Uh, we are there in the Bible, you see, we are there in the Bible where leaders were chosen and some of the leaders are bad. Yes, sir. We have not had in the Bible, we have. Yes, sir. But we have no cause. Yes, sir. But yes, I know that God said, have mercy on them, he brought the sky, he brought the fire. Yes, sir. My, my, our prayer today is that as we are entering this 2023 that we want to pass, yes. that we want to pass this leader. Yes, sir. God will choose the best leader for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will never choose from me that we Amen. 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 And, and God, will, God will never do that for this country. Amen. We are the answer in my prayer. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We celebrate grace. Thank you. Thank you. Both scholars, Adadi Chief Oji and Mr. Shola, have all called to say that we should prayerfully cast our votes. We should watch out for potentials, what they have to offer. We should watch out for their sincerity. Prayerfully. It is not too much to ask that we fast and pray. Begin to fast now and pray. Fast and pray that God will overturn every works of wickedness. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Afternoon, Daddy Godwin, uh, Mr. Godwin. You got my voice. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Today's uh, reflection yes, is a very powerful one. Yes, sir. Prayer is good. We pray for the success of the forthcoming election. Yes, sir. It's not only prayer. Let us get CVC. Yes, sir. All of us, all of us, both need to make, especially the youth, yes, let sir. us get our PVC. Yes, sir. So that we will know, sell our courses, you know, yes, sir. sell our future yes, to sir. party that. Yes, sir. All those scriptures you read concerning how to choose a good king, the good church leader, First Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1 to 7, is set out in the Bible. Let us choose the right person that will liberate this country. We are in darkness. Finally, I have to appreciate the Edo State government, those people, they said the judgment to us. Those people that are in charge of the kidnapping, yes, and everybody has been uh, rescued. But yes, let them do the needful yes, and make sure they are brought to book. Yes, sir. They will change them so yes, that it will act as a deterrent yes, to others. Yes, sir. For others take to emulate. If let them emulate their do state. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Thank sir. You. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very, very much. Our daddy here has given us more input that voting is not enough to fast and pray. We must go and vote. Go and collect your PVC and go and vote, especially you, the youth. Don't sell your vote by disrupting uh, campaigns and all that. No. Go and get your PVC and vote rightly. And he has also given uh, the example of the Edo State government who did something about the kidnapping. Nasara too have also tried this week. A lot of um, uh, rescue have been done. Hallelujah. So he's saying that as we pray, other uh, state governments will be empowered to also do the same, to go into their forest mm. and set the captives free, free and set our nation free. Mm. We salute all of you that are out there praying, keep praying and keep keeping faith with government mm. and keeping faith with yourself. Pastor Mrs. Magdalene Osadaye is in the house. Pastor Magdalene, good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon to you, everybody. For God on her be glorified for this uh, wonderful and a pleasant Sunday once again. Thank God for the opportunity, the grace, and the gift of life that He has given unto us. We return, we return Him all the glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So thank God for this uh, wonderful uh, week once again. And uh, Mommy spoke on uh, love, unity, and the Bible tells us because we, without the word of God, we are nowhere. Without the word of God, we can do nothing. The word of God is the foundation on which we stand. The foundation that is a lasting foundation, a foundation that cannot collapse, a foundation that cannot be destroyed. And that is why there is a clarion call for each and every one of us as the creator of God, 
to surrender our life totally to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And whosoever believe in him, the Bible says, such a one will not perish, and we will also have everlasting life. The nation that believe on the Lord Savior Jesus Christ, who God has sent to redeem man from the cause of the law. Such a nation will stand that cannot be destroyed. Such a nation will stand and will not be shattered. Such a nation will stand that cannot be moved. It will be like a, a, a like Mazayon that cannot be moved but abided forever. On oh love, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but he will have everlasting life. So for us to uh, uh, to perform our civic, our uh, our civic right, and for us to elect a a, a, a God-fearing leader, each and every one of us, we have to love our nation, irrespective of our races, of our color, of our profession, of whatever, of whatever at all. Let us still love our nation. There is still hope. There is a better hope for tomorrow for our nation. Let us love our nation. And if we have a genuine love for our nation, we will not kidnap one another. We will not kill one another. We will not destroy one another's life and their properties. Let us love our nation as God himself has loved us. It is out of love that God is building each and every one of us on a daily basis. God has not finished with us. We, have, we should not close our nation's uh, chapter that it is written of. We should not write it off. God has not written this off. God has not written me off. He has not written you off. God is still working on our weak point. God is still working on our inability. God is still working our, on, our, on our own belief. God is still working on our imperfection so that he can present us to himself as a perfect woman, as a perfect man, as a perfect uh, 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 children unto himself. So let us not write off our, let us not write off our nation. God has not finished with our nation. He's still working on our nation. There can still be a better Nigeria. Let's work together. And in the book of uh, Psalm 133, verse 1, on unity now, he said, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. There's a popular saying that uh, uh, united. He said, United we stand, divided we fall. When we have love for one another, we will not castigate one another. We will not kill one another, as Elias said. And when we are also united, we will not write off our nation. We will not write off our brother. We will not write off our sister. We will not uh, uh, write off our leaders. When we love one another, when we love our nation, we love our leaders. We are united. The Bible says, we, we God, all things are possible. And when we lift up our hands to pray, when we lift up our voices to pray unto our God, our maker, concerning love, concerning a, a, a unity, concerning our election, electing a, a God-fearing leader, then God will hear from heaven. And that is why it tells us in a, in a popular scripture, in Second Chronicles 7, 14, it says, if my people, if my people which are called by my name should humble themselves and pray and seek my face and forsake their evil ways, he said, they will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and then I will hear their land. If we are united, when we lift up our voices to pray, God will hear. If we are united, if we love in one another, if we love our nation, if we love our leaders, and we are united, when whatever we ask God, God Himself will be ready to uh, to give us to give our to give us our heart desire. At this point in time, God is expecting each and every one of us to love one another, to be united, because. When we are united, whatever we ask him to do for us, he will do, he will, he will do it for us. Now that we are asking for, for a God-fearing leader, God is expecting each and every one of us to love one another, to love our nation, to be united. United we stand, divided we fall. We can no longer afford to fail anymore. We can no longer afford to fall. We have fallen 
and we have fallen in the past. Now we are rising. We are rising never to fall again because mm -hmm. the grace of God is sufficient for each and every one of us. And then we have to be obedient to the Lord of the land. We have to be obedient to the Almighty God. God is saying we should we should cooperate with, uh, with with our leaders. We should love our nation. We should love our leaders. When we love them, we will pr we will pray for we will pray for them. We will not seek for their downfall so that when they fall tomorrow, we are making jest of them. We are laughing. You know, we we are we, we take pleasure in the failure of our leaders. Why it's not ought to be so. Let us uh, now that we want to elect them into the, uh, uh, various offices, we should love them. We should care for them. We should. Uh, uh, because their failure will be, uh, their, their, their sources will also be our sources. Their failure will also be our sources. When they fail, we also fail. When one fail, all, uh, the whole nation fail. When one succeed, the whole nation succeed. So let us pray for our leaders. Let us love them. Let us walk along with them. Let's, uh, let us be united. United we stand, divided we fall. Let us walk together in unity. Because God is interested to see us united so that when we lift up our voices to him according to what he has written down that if my people that are called by my name when we are called by the name of the Lord when we fulfill the condition that God has given unto us then God himself is set to answer all our prayers because if there is a man to pray there is a God in heaven to answer let us love one another and also in the book of Psalm Psalm 94 in the book of Psalm 94, Psalm 94, verse 14, it says, For the Lord will not cast off his people. God will not reject us. He will not forsake us. He will not cast us away from his presence. He said, Neither will he forsake his inheritance. We are in the inheritance of God. Nigeria is an inheritance of God. God will not forsake Nigeria. Let, neither will he cast this away from his presence. God will not cast away Nigeria. For God so much loved Nigeria. He gave his only son. He gave us the best. His only son to come and redeem us from the cause of the law. Let us walk according to the word of God. Let us walk in unity. Let us walk in love. Let us walk in sincerity of our heart. Let us stop destroying uh, the, uh, the government uh, property and it is our own property. We are the same, uh, 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 the, the property that belongs to uh, the government, they are all our, they all belong to us as well. Please let us stop uh, destroy, uh, destroy government's uh, property. Let us uh, stop the issue of drawing the government backward. When we draw the government backward, we are in uh, such a thing we also affect ourselves. Please, whatever sins, and whatsoever seems to be evil, let all desist for them. For God is not a respecter of anybody. He will judge the world. If we are to be judged, if we are to be judged by God, will you be able to extend the judgment of God? Please, Jesus Christ still remain the Lord. He's the, day, he's, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. In case you have not uh, given your life to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is still, the, is still the Savior of the whole world. And this is an opportunity for you to do so. For God so loved the world, He gave us His only devotion. So whosoever believes will not perish, but He will have everlasting life. And at the end, by the time you give your life to Christ, He will give you direction on who you are to vote for. He will put His fear in your heart so that you will not begin to destroy government property and say that you are the one that is losing. Whereas you are also the one that is losing. May ignorance not be an excuse for us to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. The Bible makes us to understand that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. What is righteousness? Right doing. And so, Father, we bring ourselves to you and we ask that you forgive us any way we have erred, any way we have not done well yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask that even as we begin to prepare for the elections, help us to do a check. Look at them, all their speeches, all the contestants. How sincere are they? What is their past record concerning religion? What are their, 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 their stand? How have they protected and defended the various religions? How have they acted concerning education? How have they provided education? Or are they happy seeing uh, students at home for so long? 
spiritually, physically, psychologically, agriculturally. We must check them on all of these things. Check their utterances. Check their activities in the time past. So, Father, we say forgive us where we have erred and help us to do the right thing in the mighty name of Jesus. The beginning, the end of every matter is God. Without God, we can do nothing. So are you out there, you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, then all that we are saying will be strange. Vandalization and all those things will not be, be new to you if you don't have the fear of God. And so, Father, we say touch every heart, meet every need in the name of Jesus. We pray for the Jordan family, it is well with them and well with us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us as individual or as a nation. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake. Check our YouTube channel, Edith Atake, Church on the Air, Banner of Love. Our account will come up. On Facebook, we have five urban pages. Search and like and share. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you over and over again. God bless you.